So you got a client who needs their video to be edited as fast as possible and you know how much time consuming is to make the subtitles manually and you don't have money to spend on paid AI softwares like Submagic. And the hardest part is to sync them according to the video. It's a pain in the ass, but not anymore. In this video, I am going to show you how you can save hours by using this method in Premiere Pro without using any plugins or extension. So if you have Windows 7, throw that right away, because this method only works in Premiere Pro 2023, which requires at least Windows 10. So I have this video, which I'm going to be using to edit it Premiere Pro. So let's first drag it into the Premiere Pro and make a sequence. To generate the subtitles, you need to go to the Window panel and select this text panel. And do not try wasting your time searching this in previous version of Premiere Pro. It's useless. Now we have to select this clip which you want to transcribe, and then click on Transcribe Sequence. Here you can select your language. You can select these two to determine whether your speaker is separate or not. Now click on Transcribe, and within a second, Premiere Pro will transcribe each and every word coming out from your mouth. Now this part can make or break your client's trust. You have to review the transcription, and if anything is wrong, simply correct it manually. And when it's completely correct, click on this CC to create caption. Now click on this preference button to select your preference using these three sliders. As you can see, the first slider can be used to adjust the number of characters displayed one at a time. You can experiment with these to make your own subtitles. If you are editing short form or gaming videos, keep this around 15 to 20 to make engaging subtitles. You just have to set these three parameters according to your preference and click on Create Captions. Now your subtitles are generated, but it looks very plain. To make it interesting, select all the subtitles and go to Essential Graphics to adjust their posture or font. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Montserrat Bold. You can also change color, stroke of the text, background of the text to make it like Ali Abdal, or give it a nice shadow, it's completely up to you. Now there is one problem our text is generated, but something is missing. Yeah, you guessed it wrong, it's animation. But first, we have to convert it into the graphics layer. To make it simply select all the subtitles and click graphics and titles and then upgrade captions to graphics. Now you can see it turned into pink from yellow. What that means is now you can put animation presets on your text to make it engaging. All right, this video is finished. And if you want to edit faster and save some seconds to waste it on scrolling reels, subscribe.